Welcome to the National Post-Election Debate, brought to you by the Jamaica Brock Pocket Commission, in association with JPS, Jamaica People's Stress, stressing lives just for little energy. Tonight, we come to you live from the Faculty of Law, University of the West Indies, Mona Campus. Good evening. Welcome to... Caravan is okay. We'll take it from here. Okay. Good evening, uh, viewers in Jamaica and the diaspora. Uh, mm, the purpose of this debate is to identify, clarify, and chokeify matters of national importance. I am Johnny. And I am Mikey. Joining us this evening are the leader of the People's National Party, the most honorable Queen Portia, Sister P. Simpson Miller. And the leader of the Jamaica Labour Party, the honorable Andrew Baby Bruce Loderman Holmes. Just look at them. Two big master debaters. Master debaters. Mr. Master what? Master debaters. Mr. Holness, Mr. Holness, sir. I was present, you two, at your inauguration. And about an hour into your speech, I left uh, King's House uh, and went to watch Harry Potter in Montego Bay. Montego Bay, isn't it? Montego Bay. Yes. Now, I returned to the venue and you were still talking. Now, looking back, Mr. Hollis, what are your sentiments about this? My sentiments reflect the sentiments of the country. So you agree that you were boring and long-winded then? Good, good. What we would like to know is at what point in your life did you realize that you were boring? From the time of my youth. Just as, just as I suspected. It's an inborn thing. Anyway, Mrs. Simpson Miller, Vibes Cartel, the world boss, is in a world of trouble. We're all aware of that. We understand that since his incarceration, you have taken over the Gaza Empire. Why, pre, why, pre? At your, sorry, sorry. Please. At your age, do you think you can really manage to take on a task of this magnitude? It's not just about age. It's about the ability to lead and manage and the experience. <laughs> All right. Tell us this then. Is it true that you also made a video like Lisa Hyper? I've... <laughs> Story come to bump. <laughs> Look, uh, moving right along, Mr. Holness, your nose. Don't you think that you ought to have a commission of inquiry into that entity? See, really, no need for a commission of inquiry. But, but people are saying that it is very distracting, distracting, Mr. Holness. People are entitled to their opinion. Fair enough. But a source within your party informed us that some of the JDIP funds were earmarked for a nose job. What do you have to say about that? Mr. Holness? Mr. Holness? Andrew? He didn't answer me now. At least he didn't say, I can't recall. <laughs> Mrs. Simpson Miller, Jamaicans are crying out for a change yes. of your hairstyle. Let's face it, you've been wearing that thing since Norman Manley was in basic school. It's true. Are you able to give us a newer, hotter hairstyle? In other words, can you turn up the thing? I know I have the ability to and can. Well, as the Nike people say, just do it. I mean, all you have to do yeah. is get rid of the bang. Give it a shorter cut, put in some highlights, uh, drop in two curls. Hello. What? What? Hello? What? 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 They know you know so much about your style. No, man. Portia, he would have no problem to come in your cabinet. No, I mean. Oh, what? 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 <laughs> <laughs> All right, break your content. Mr. Holness, back to you. Uh, we were informed that on the eve of your inauguration, that there was a wild party at Gordon House involving alcohol, marijuana. Uh, uh, go, go dancing with poles, with, with poles uh, and that there was a lot of crude and, and vulgar behavior and that you were integrally involved. Is this true? 
I was on the extreme periphery of that matter. And you, Mr. Simpson Miller, I will get back to you, Mr. Holness. You were seen pulling up to, to the venue in a pop down Jeep. Hey, did you participate in this? I certainly participated. Hold on, hold on, hold on. You mean you can manage all that young girl wind up head top thing? I have the ability and the skills and my experience. Well, at least you, Mrs. Miller, you are truthful. You say you are honest, yes. But you, Mr. Holness, how can you say that you were on the, the, the website, the periphery, periphery, when you were tweeting pictures of the slackness and posting them on Facebook as if you were in the thick of things? That is the ingenuity and creativity of a youthful mind. Mrs. Simpson Miller, one of the contentious issues in the Manata Fair is that some of the evidence was obtained by wiretapping, more commonly known as bugging. Mm. How does your administration feel about phones being bugged? I think that we should have a look at the buggery law. Wait, 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 wait. That's not what buggery is. Buggery is when a man... Hey! Hey, 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 hey! But no, what, what is going on here now? Listen, look here. Not in this, not in this cabinet. I mean debate. Not in this debate. You know what is true? I have had enough of this. Me too. I've just done it now, right? You got to go and turn the table. No, be made done to your man. Look here. Turn up. We're finished. Thank you, Mr. Ones. And thank you, Mrs. Simpson Miller. Turn up. Just handshake. Do on all. We don't know you here. We don't. Make it. Oh, yeah. Thank you. Fine. <laughs> <laughs> uh, good. That is it. Do you know?